This presentation is about how we time mountain walks, which we do in sections. You may find it helpful to pause the presentation to study the slides before moving on. It takes us longer to climb a mountain than it does to, to walk the equivalent distance on the flat. And we use a special rule to determine that time. This rule is called the Naismith rule. The original rule by William Naismith has been modified so that in practice for groups of people we take the distance time of 4 km per hour and we add 1 minute for every 10 metres that we climb. So the rule has essentially two parts. It's also useful that our maps have contour lines at intervals of 10 metres which means that the height time is 1 minute for every contour line on our map. So we walk at approximately 4 km per hour on firm ground, however we may slow down to 3 km per hour in rough or boggy ground, and we may speed up to 5 km an hour on good ground. Here is a useful chart which I have drawn up to show us the length of time it takes to walk distances at various rates of speed. So the distance taken at 1 km 1,000 metres. At 3 kilometres an hour it takes us 20 minutes. At 4 kilometres per hour it takes 15 minutes. And at 5 kilometres per hour it takes 12 minutes. And in subdivisions, a distance of 100 metres, for example, at 4 kilometres per hour is 1.5 minutes. And this is the level of detail that we're going to need. So let us say we want to walk from the Bog of Donard in the Mourne Mountains to the Chimney Rock Mountain, shown by this green line here. The distance is 60 millimetres, which we can measure using our compass or rule. And we know from the scale of the map at 1 to 25,000 that each millimetre of the map represents 25 metres on the ground. So the distance on the ground is 60 by 25, which is 1,500 metres. 1.5 kilometers. So now we have half of the elements that we need to calculate the time. So we also need to know how much height we're going to gain. So we can find that the Bog of Donard is at 530 meters, which is determined from the contour lines, and we're given the height of the Jimmy Rock Mountain at 656. So the difference in rising is 126 metres. So now we have the two parts. If we go back to our chart and look at our 1500 metres, that will take us 1500, 15 minutes plus 7.5 minutes, gives us 22 and a half minutes for the distance time. And also our height time of 12.6 minutes, which is what it takes for 126 metre climb, gives us a total time of 35 minutes for the journey. If we were walking downhill, we ignore the height difference and we simply say that it's 1.5 kilometres at 4 kilometres per hour, which is 22 and a half minutes. The legs of the journey that where we have rises and falls in the same leg, we find the distance, but we only count the contours that are rising and we ignore the contours that are falling and we don't subtract the falling contours from the rising ones. Here are some examples of the rule in use. Um, the top section is taken at 4 km per hour and for example a 400 meter walk while climbing 50 meters will take 4 times 1.5 minutes which is 6 minutes plus 5 minutes for the height gives us 11 minutes. And if I move down to one kilometre, 1,000 metres, climbing 320 metres, takes 15 minutes plus 32 minutes, height time is 47 minutes. Whereas the same distance going downhill or walking flat will take us 15 minutes. I've also shown some um, useful examples at three kilometres an hour and five kilometres an hour. The final thing to say, of course, is that in the final analysis, we only count whole minutes.